There are many reasons why people may want to have the same lawyer for a personal injury case. Like if a family is involved in a car accident and more than one person is injured, or if a few friends are in the same car in a crash, sometimes sharing the same lawyer is a good idea and sometimes it's a bad idea. This video will briefly explain some common scenarios where there may be a conflict of interest between clients who use the same lawyer. I also want to help you decide if you should waive any potential conflicts of interest and use the same lawyer or share with you when it might be in your best interest to have separate attorneys. There are basically two types of conflicts. I will call them friendly conflicts and hostile conflicts of interest. First, let's talk about a real life example where a friendly conflict exists. Here's a friendly conflict example where all of the clients are friendly towards each other and should remain friendly towards each other and there's no reason for them to fight with one another. Assume that mom is driving her car and her two daughters are riding with her. Mom comes to a full stop at a red light. Then suddenly, a very bad driver crashes into the back of mom's car, causing mom and each of the two daughters to have serious injuries. Then we find out that the bad driver only has a small insurance policy of 1020, which means the maximum any one injured person can recover is $10,000 and the most the insurance company will pay out is $20,000 to all three of the injured women. Is there a conflict of interest for one lawyer to represent all three injured victims? The answer is yes, there is a conflict, but a friendly conflict. The conflict in this situation is that three people are entitled to compensation and there may not be enough insurance proceeds to compensate all of them fairly and one might get more money at the expense of the others. However, it might be in their best interest to waive the conflicts because they will all work together to share the limited insurance benefits. This type of conflict is usually waived by all of the parties because each client is friendly with each other and they can agree to share the recovery. Waiving the conflict will probably work out better for them for a few reasons. The first reason to waive the conflict is because the lawyer can present a single demand letter with all three of the client's claims in one proposal. This prevents one person from getting ahead or behind the other in the timing of the demand, as well as preventing two people from possibly taking all of the policy limits and leaving the third person with nothing. A second reason to waive the conflict of interest is for economic efficiency. The clients will split the costs and expenses of the case while sharing the common benefits of the investigation, legal research, and other work that might go into their claims. A third reason to waive this conflict is that one lawyer may have more collective bargaining power to encourage a settlement. In other words, there is strength in numbers. A fourth reason to waive the conflict is the insurance company may find it easier to resolve all the claims with one lawyer rather than two or three separate attorneys all asking for the policy limits. A fifth reason for them to waive this conflict is to avoid unnecessary and potentially damaging delays in seeking another attorney. Because the first attorney may move forward quickly and recover the insurance limits earlier than the others, causing there to be less money for the later claims. In this scenario, since everyone is in the same family and presumably willing to share the good and bad, waiving the conflict of interest makes good sense. Now, let me give you an example of a hostile conflict. And when I say hostile, it does not mean the people don't get along. It's just that they have a conflict where one person's legal interests are in conflict with the other person's legal rights. A simple example was Bob and his girlfriend Carol were avid motorcyclists. One night, Bob and Carol rode Bob's motorcycle to dinner. They enjoyed dinner and had a glass of wine and then were on their way home. When suddenly a bad driver turned left right in front of them and crashed and caused serious injuries to both of them. The at-fault driver had an insurance policy of 
which means that the at-fault driver's insurance would pay $100,000 to Bob and $100,000 to Carol for their damages. So far, no unfriendly conflict of interest. But Carol has a potential conflict with Bob. If Bob was just 1% at fault, then she might bring a claim against Bob for his negligence. If she thinks Bob could have or should have swerved away from the crash, or Bob should have braked harder, or Bob should not have driven the motorcycle because he had one glass of wine, then she potentially could bring a claim against Bob. Now, a hostile conflict of interest has arisen because the lawyer cannot represent both Bob and Carol and then defend Bob against Carol's claim. In this case, even though they are boyfriend and girlfriend, they are probably better off using different attorneys. However, if they still wanted to, they could still waive their conflict of interest as long as they both agree to the waiver and they both have been fully advised about the conflict of interest. How does a lawyer protect his clients and himself from any potential conflict of interest? First, the lawyer has to tell the clients about the potential conflict, and the lawyer should suggest that each of the clients individually talk with another disinterested lawyer about these conflict issues. After being told about the conflict, if the clients still want to waive their conflicts, they can do so. Also, as time goes by, if the conflict becomes less friendly and more hostile, then they can seek separate attorneys later on. When a conflict arises, there are basically four options. One, the law firm represents all of the friendly people at the same time and they all waive any potential conflict of interest they may have with each other. Two, the lawyer refers one of the clients to a different attorney. Three, the lawyer refers both or all of the clients to different attorneys or four, one or both or all of the clients find different attorneys on their own. The vast majority of conflicts of interest are waived and everyone gets along fine, but it's still important that the lawyers and the clients fully understand how and why a conflict may develop in any injury claim. If you have more questions or would like more information, please do not hesitate to call me Matt Powell.